Hello people, it's Cole. Today we'll be flipping through Victoria. This magazine is from June 1992. This was sent to my P.O. box by a viewer. Thank you so much to Diane for this. Uh, you were right, I love this. <laughs> How would I explain this magazine? This is like if Emily Gilmore and Samantha Parkington and Martha Stewart all got together <laughs> and decided to co-edit a magazine. That is Victoria. It is all about fussy, finery, lacy femininity. It is very fun and very fantasy. I'm here for you every week with the Vintage Magazine flip through. So stay right here with me and let's get started. All right, so on the cover, we have a assemblage of lacy trims. There's gray kind of fabric rosette purple flowers beading it's it's very bridal this whole issue is very bridal there's a quote an incredible quote <laughs> right across the top here a woman can never be too fine while she is in all white so dressing in all white <laughs> is definitely a recurrent theme in this issue that's a quote from Jane Austen, by the way. Of course it is. <laughs> in the center is a photo of a very pale, very dusty, <laughs> powdered white woman in white lace with pearls. Straw hat that has little, mm, looks like it has maybe some beading on a ribbon. And then there's uh, lilacs in that hat. I'll tell you real quick that this very serendipitously came to me today to my P.O. box. I was so grateful because I screwed up my planning. I plan videos out like what I'm going to film months in advance and I messed up my planning today. I had nothing to film and it was all in a tizzy and then I got a notification from USPS that I had something in my P.O. box and it was this. So <laughs> that's why we are doing a June magazine in March but it's still very like frilly fussy spring I think so works for me. Wow. Isabella Rossellini for Lancome Paris. Introducing Renergy? It's a uh, anti-wrinkle and firmness cream. The very soft, kind of gray scale, not even black and white, it's like gray and white image. They always have, they've, there, I have seen, there have been so many <laughs> flip throughs that I've done with these giant, huge portraits of Isabella Rossellini uh, for Lancome. So beautiful. There was one in just the video that I just did last week, um, Cosmopolitan from 1991. <laughs> and speaking of return, <laughs> return themes again, The Man's Diamond. I cannot tell you how many times I've seen the <laughs> different ads in different eras for the, the Man's Diamond. And here it is again. Makes sense, as I said, wedding themes. So if last year's gift slipped his mind, slip him one of these. You, that's you, Victoria, give your man a diamond. The gift of love from a woman to a man, men's diamond rings in bold and masculine designs. There's those bold and masculine designs. They are bold and I suppose they are masculine. They're very angular, mixed metals in all of the designs. Jessica McClintock doing bridal for the most romantic moments of your life. It's a fragrance, actually, is what this is. There's a teeny little picture up here of this fragrance bottle. Quite the dress, quite the confection of a wedding dress in lace and pearls and uh, embellishment, long sleeves, big, fluffy train. What a dream. Ugh, stationary. <laughs> I love stationary, and you bet Victoria is using stationary. She's probably got it on auto ship. Uh, over here, gorgeous Victorian papers for writing notes, thank you notes, invitations to, to maybe like a, a garden party, perhaps. <laughs> they call them uh, calling cards. Very very victorian over here armstrong uh flooring ad which 
I've seen some Armstrong flooring ads in other magazines. They, a lot of them share this format, which I really like. Love this. I really like these kind of layers of boxes and framed framing devices, um, like image montages, like the cover was. So we have a, a, a very attractive contemporary interior right here with a like a vinyl flooring, I guess it is. And there's the close up of the floor in the background as our backdrop. Armstrong puts the height of fashion right at your feet. It's kind of a speckly, like blue gray with a little bit of like maroon speckled in, speckle pattern. And then there's also some kind of mood setting elements. There's a piece of crumply fabric, some sliced oranges, some flowers, and then a busy, busy family scene right here with a teen son and mom and dad and dad's in a, <laughs> is in a pink cable knit uh, sweater, as, as I'm sure you would be if you're, uh, your wife is a Victoria kind of gal. Oh my god, let me just <laughs> quickly read the first line of this little text box here. Modern and relaxed, easy and open. It's exactly the kind of living space lots of 90s families are into. That's lots of 90s families right there. Yes, indeed. Favorite things. In summer dress. Early summer. We'll call it early summer. Uh, it's, it's more more blue and white, lacy, fresh, very light, fresh, lovely. Straw hats abound. Can't wait to see many, several many tons of straw hats in this issue. There's some fun like watercolor illustration items, at least right here there is, with like a green and white stripe awning. Shadow box over here with white flowers. Whoa, check that out. At right, a brass colonial Hollandaise sh style chandelier by Metropolitan Lighting is veiled in bridal netting and tethered with satin ribbon. Festooned as such, it should be lit only if the netting is draped loosely with plenty of space around the bulbs. <laughs> ghostly chandelier in a spooky bridal netting. And then on this side, quite a different vibe, a uh, mask you could cut out to drink this coffee liqueur, Camora, which is sort of like a Kahlua type of a thing, I think. More blue and white, which by the way, that's my uh, high school colors. Blue and white fight fight. This is an ad it's a little bit of a little bit of a story. A wrong turn down a dusty road took us to that small country inn. And from that moment we arrived, we felt warm and welcomed. I wanted my home to feel just that inviting. So it's a an ad for York, which is here's the second part of the ad. It's like this, you know, that's you sitting with all of these samples and fabrics and wallpaper rolls and things and a metal pig on a stick. You can make your home look, look like a country inn. Isn't that gorgeous? Blue and white. Looks very nice with this little <laughs> furry rug I've selected today. Oh, and this blue and white, like diagonal checker floor. It's really cool. She's even dressed to match, and she's holding a blue pencil. She's really paying attention. Crabtree and Evelyn, every day. There's a bath gel and a, I'm not sure what that is, fragrance or something, or maybe some other kind of, I don't know, oil or something, bubble bath, I don't know. And some peonies and a basket, and it's very springy. Oh my God. <laughs> this, and then times 10, we get this, Le Fleur. Somewhere inside Romance Blossoms. Very Victorian image assemblage. Wow. Check that border out. Oh, it's our cover lady right here. Mm-hmm. 
So in the hat, we had violets and lilac, I believe. Yes, that's right. I do think purple and white look very beautiful together. I think that's a very, very lovely combination that you don't hear or think a lot about. Um, we do get another sort of closer shot of this hat. It was not, I thought it was like mm, embellished with little beads or pearls or something. It's not. It's little like embroidery, embroidery knots, I guess, evenly spaced across the whole thing. And I do like that because that matches the kind of natural soft texture of the straw hat and also this sort of non-shiny ribbon. And there's our dead pale model right there, Miss Cover Lady. Oh my God. It's a feature about hats with flowers in them. This magazine is nuts. <laughs> Where else are you gonna see this? White hats with flowers on the brim, around the brim, underneath, everywhere you could want them. Everyone is deceased pale with gray lips, which works. If you're gonna, like, this is a very ghost fashion, which I'm into. Oh, it's talking a bit about the, the challenges of keeping a fair complexion in the summer, hence the hat, duh. On this side, lands. This is giving very a uh, cereal mom. <laughs> a floral print dress with a very, very dramatic Jane Jetson kind of collar situation. Um, it's kind of cool. It's so structured for being so feminine and florally. Oh, it even has a bow in the back. Wow, we. Here's an advertising section for. Victoria's Beauty Indulgences. Beautiful gold and white color scheme here. These are all different fragrances. So we do get a view of some pretty gorgeous early 90s fragrance packaging. Wow, Fredericksburg Herb Farms Floral Fresh Cosmetic Tonic Vinegar. Vinegar as a beauty supply. What do you do with that? Floral vinegar, known to be slightly astringent and energizing, enjoyable as a facial rinse, botanic bath, sunburn relief, deodorant, insect sting relief, and even headache relief. Ah, it's like a homeopathic, that's a very old and timey approach, homeopathic remedy for everything. Something old. Tokens of affection. If anyone has an eye for something old and beautiful enough for a bride, it's Marlene Harris. After 35 years of reading every jewelry book I could find, that's a quote, and 17 years of shopkeeping, she's opened a jewel box of a shop. Ooh. It's a vintage jewelry dealer. And here's a whole array of pearly... Very fancy, fine, delicate detail work. Jewelry, very bridal, yes. Onita crystal, add over here, with a paper flower in it. <laughs> a first arts and crafts project deserves first class accommodations. Paper flower goes in this cut glass vase. And then over here, a misty, romantic, white hat with a flower in it and a ribbon to boot um, on a white wicker chair. Summer's Haven. Another hat. Oof, I got, I got to start a straw hat counter. It might, it might go off the charts though. Um, mm -hmm. Wicker and white linen. Yes, ma'am. There's a bit of a, there's like a kind of a very grainy treatment to these photos which gives it, I don't know, gives it a smoky quality, which gives it also a dreamlike sort of quality as well. There's like an unclarity to it, um, which I like. It's, it, it suits this vibe, absolutely. Yeah, oh yeah. This is very dreamlike, this bizarre 
adult tea party for two very dream <laughs> very surreal wow by the side of elaine's chair a wicker table was set out with the paraphernalia of afternoon tea on some cushions reclined courtney yogel smoothly preened and youthfully elegant the personification of decorative repose oh my <laughs> i guess that's a appears to be a quote from a book or a poem or something we're having tea for two we've popped our straw hat on this magazine rack no doubt full of back issues of victoria there's a little basket for some tea cookies silver teapot some white china and we're sipping our tea probably having a very polite conversation in matching head-to-toe white looks with white shoes and white stockings check this out i love this model move where you like extend that foot to get that long clean line right there link nice long clean silhouette line all the way to the tip of the toe gorge oh my god this footsie this like sapphic footsie situation this, this, is, this, is, this is there's some undercurrents here it's, it's a little titillating isn't it, isn't it? <laughs> yearning right that's yearning right there mm. the laced arches of manderley it seems that Manderley is like a name of an estate or something, a building um, in the Caribbean, in St. Lucia. It's cool to feature like a Caribbean location in a magazine like this, which is very like Eurocentric. Um, yeah, interesting. Very lacy, you know, gingerbready. A pink house with like, it's <laughs> this is what this is, is very Barbie, very Barbie dream house yes oh wow this roof is so amazing what an interesting shape with these tiles or maybe they're like wooden shingles i don't know oh, i love this little covered connecting like external hallway with the railing of that is so fun ah fretwork is an old british colonial tradition colonization <laughs> so there you go that's why it's like the caribbean but it's also like british duh what am i thinking it's colonization of course sun mirth and secrecy in a garden it's all, about, it's all about like secrets and I don't know whispers and things. <laughs> I like that. It it suits the sort of sh shadowy, dreamy quality of all of this. More tea and cookies. More like Vaseline lens images. Another straw hat. This is a uh, I think photos of a specific woman's garden yes ivy that's her right there in her very best uh, laura ashley dress fun quite beautiful very impressive ah <laughs> roses against an adirondack chair on this side uh return to graciousness with Victoria. Graciousness, that is what this is. Endearing fashions, a touch of lace, old-fashioned delights, the charm of yesteryear. <laughs> oh, yes! Wow. An era whose time has come again. Perfectly stated. Okay. The wedding the bridal wedding moment today put on perfection some wedding looks some getting ready with a flower girl 
in the wedding venue. Gauzy, filmy, English cotton tool topper. All right. I'm, I'm making some connections here about why all of the wedding dresses in 1992 looked like that. This fluffy, princessy, Vic Victoria type of a vibe. That was... I, I get a better sense of, of like, this as a, a counterculture, maybe? A subculture that was going on? Um, it's it's very, very fascinating. Whoa. She looks evil <laughs> in the best way possible. This very severe kind of finger-waved bouffant thing holding a glass of evil champagne. Long sleeve top, it's like separates. And there's this very, very full skirt and a white, mean little white shoe with opaque white uh, nylons there. Wow. I love her <laughs> in this chair. Just plotting. More lace, more ribbons, more pearls. More precious times with the flower girl. And also more flowers. Big, flopping, kind of octopus-like tulip and calla lily arrangement here. When cut glass was sheer brilliance. Remember the Onita ad? Well, we're, we're talking more about cut glass. Very intriguing vase here in the centerpiece. Do you see it? it's a vase that has kind of multiple vessel <laughs> holes in it? holding more uh, lilacs, pointing all different directions. Inventive, hmm? Two-tone glass, green and clear, which is very beautiful. Ah, from the cover, remember? Collecting for the ceremonies of life. A photo here of a spread of Vintage laces, another hat. There's also a bust, like a marble bust. Dis that's wearing a necklace and a lace, I don't know what, shawl, I guess. So this is all from the collection of Anita Louise Crane, who does like bridal stuff. I don't know if this is vintage or new, but she's a resource for the bride, the Victoria bride. And she lives in Park City, Utah. <laughs> oh boy. Wow. Oh yeah, it's a whole bridal shop. Oh my God. Look at that. Dried, dried, twiggy, heart-shaped wreaths with dried florals and like a droopy white ribbon. That is such a vibe. More of that kind of speckly treatment on these photos over here painterly, I guess I would call it. And then an inset image of a wedding dress that's like separates, which is cool. To enhance the versatility of what might well be a wedding dress, Anita likes to design two separate pieces here out of white linen with cutwork and Point de Venice inserts. It's like a jacket with a skirt. Whirlpool ad. Um, <laughs> I love this. This is really cool. A well-built refrigerator should require none of your attention. Side-by-side -side refrigerator, classic white, 1992 white appliance, white. Great. And then there's this really inventive x-ray effect where you can see these floating food items that would be inside of the refrigerator like you don't have to think about the refrigerator you can just think about the food that's in there because the refrigerator just runs itself easy to maintain isn't that i love that what a cool image i wonder how they did that 
if it's just, I mean, I guess it wouldn't be that hard to just like superimpose photos, but it feels very, I don't know. It feels very real to me. There's something very like practical effect about this. I wonder if there's, this isn't as like fake as, as it could be. Martha Stewart, hello. <laughs> Told you she would be wanting to be a part of this. Martha Stewart invites you to sleep on a bed of flowers. Martha Stewart with Kmart. It is her bedding line. We have a matching whole fleet of curtains. There's a wallpaper, like border, and the bedding, a tablecloth, all with the same matching floral print. At home with Martha Stewart with this old-fashioned Martha Stewart branding. I guess that would be an illustration of Turkey Hill, her, her home, her famous iconic home. Introducing the Martha Stewart Floral Medley Bedroom Collection, available exclusively at Kmart. More of that layered effect where it's like an inset image, and then there's a kind of on top where we have a photo of some flowers, building depth. Very intriguing. Again, we get that Jane Austen quote, a woman can never be too fine while she is in all white. The poetry of white. Often when poets search for a way to describe pure and unaffected beauty or to express love and gentleness of spirit, they turn to one word, white. In these pages, we celebrate its poetry, whether it dazzles among the flowers in the mead or the women at the garden party. Okay. There's a quote down here from a poem or a book, I don't know, that's called The White Girl, <laughs> which is, these are all white girls in this magazine, that's true. <laughs> Little white flat shoes, white lacy stockings, white skirts, white hats, another hat, more flowers on the head. An illustration here of a robe, I guess. Yes, it's a robe with like a under nighty, high necked collared pajamas. Shows it hanging on like a blue and white patterned wallpaper on a white fabric hanger, of course. For lingering over a cup of tea or even sneaking out to pick daisies on a summer morn. <laughs> Nothing is more luxurious than a pure cotton robe. To go with it, we offer a floor-length nightgown and a 34-inch nightshirt, each styled with pearl buttons and a simple collar. All are fashioned by Erica Tanov in a crisp white on white stripe. One size fits all. It's extra droopy, which is great for pajamas. That is really something. I'm sure it's fabulous. Do you think she just got caught sneaking out to pick daisies on a, on a summer morn? <laughs> okay, we're getting towards the end here. We have some ads for antique dealers and things, rubber stamps, customized rubber stamps, trunk repair, you know, all the things that Victoria might need, including a classic, a 90s classic, Nordic track. Even in this magazine, there's a Nordic track ad, just like there is in every magazine I've ever flipped through <laughs> from this era. Wow. Victorian home plans, which sounds, I would love to see that. I love looking at floor plans, like architecture home plans. I just, I don't know, just that is fascinating to me. You can buy those, like, books. I Sometimes they sell them even at the grocery store, like, books of home plans, where you, sort of a catalog where you could order the actual home plans um, from that catalog. Lately, I've been getting recommended these, like, weird, like, AI-looking generated, f like, floor plan things on Facebook when I go on Facebook, which is rarely. 
And those are fascinating to me too. They're totally like catching my attention. I stare at them for so long. I guess because it's like a dollhouse, and I'm a like a old <laughs> old man who likes dollhouses, as you might know. So uh, I guess that's why I like it. Dressmaker details. Cynthia Raleigh loves taking familiar styles, the shirtwaist and spaghetti strap dresses shown here, for instance, and adding surprises. A blue and white skirt so sheer it wafts in the breeze. A hem inscribed with I do, I do. <laughs> if anyone needs the littlest details, she does, she does. There's a story on this side, which I don't have time to read, but it is called The Taste of Beans, which <laughs> has got me pretty interested. <laughs> Seems to be green beans based off the picture. Okay. Last page here, the cooktop system that you make from scratch. Janair collection. There's some like paper doll style cutouts of different attachments, I guess, you could put on this cooktop here from Gen Air, a griddle, a wok, um, like a burner to make mussels, I guess, and then also a grill for making grilled chicken breast and grilled pepper rings, yum yum. Okay, and then on the back, Henrieden? Finding inspiration in the past. 18th and 19th century designs, this is like, Emily Gilmore, right? This stuffy, heavy, dark wood, frilly, fussy, expensive interior. There's, there's a little bit of a narrative going on here, and it is a wedding narrative, <laughs> which is that we are opening wedding gifts. <laughs> Two chairs pulled out, his and hers, maybe, uh, or hers and hers, or his and his, who knows. There's two glasses, we're drinking some kind of booze, some kind of dark brown, like sherry or something gross like that. And there's opened envelopes and boxes and there's some wrapping paper on the floor and we're eating two pieces of some kind of pastry. There's more presents over here on this chair. I like that. It's very subtle, this little narrative going on here, but it's, 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 it's there. Well, there you have it, Victoria from June 1992. If you liked this video, give it a like. It really helps me out if you do. I would love to hear from you in the comments if anything in here inspired you, made you think about uh, <laughs> times gone by. I don't know, very interesting. Well, it's like, it's like double nostalgia for us now in 2024, because we're thinking about this, this has a 90s feel to it, but then that's harkening back to a whole different era Layers and layers of sentimentality, I guess. Great. Um, I will not see you next week for another new video. I'm taking a week off. I have to go on a little little trip, but I will see you in two weeks with a with a special fun <laughs> comeback video. So uh, until then, take care. <laughs>